In this video we'll be discussing half butterfly pose in yin yoga. So half butterfly is, is an interesting pose, there's quite a lot of ways you can approach it depending where you would like to target the stretch into your body. So let's go through some of those options now. So we begin by taking one foot into the opposite thigh. And the first thing to notice is if your knee is raised quite high up, you might want to take some kind of prop somewhere underneath the back of the thigh or that knee in order to help with the release in the groin and the hip of the bent knee. Um, likewise, if you're really tense in that extended leg, if you have very tight hamstrings or lower back, then you can, you do have the option of breaking up that back line of the body on that side by rolling up some kind of prop, um, such as a blanket, and, and placing it underneath the back of your knee. If, when coming forward, you feel the movement coming from your mid-back up, and you can't get that length through the spine in order to come down, then again, maybe taking yourself onto some kind of prop in order to help with that anterior pelvic tilt could be a good idea. So this pose is a stretch for um, the, the spine, particularly for the lower back. It's very nice for decompressing the end of the spine. It's got a hamstring stretch going on and depending how we shift it about, we can also take the stretch into our inner thighs and even along the outer hip and the side waist and the side body. So the first variation of this pose is taking your torso more or less in line with that extended leg and just coming down over that leg there. So you may not be anywhere near as low down as I am and kind of taking some kind of props for your elbows might help you release a little bit more into the lower back and the backs of the legs. You can begin to sort of bring your head down onto a prop, whether that be in the inside or outside of your leg. Um, only you will know what feels right for you, where you can remember where you want to find that place of stimulation that sweet spot where we feel something happening, we feel that stress in the tissues, we feel the energy moving. However, we can still continue to surrender to the pose with these mindful ex um, exhalations, with, with our awareness, with time and with gravity. Okay, so this is, as I say, more for the hamstrings on the back of the leg, this version. Um, so you're working with the urinary bladder meridian there from the water element. We can then play about with some different options. So if you take yourself kind of more in the middle in line with the front of your pelvis, then this might sort of change that feeling in that leg there and maybe offer you a different stretch along your spine and your lower back. And again, go ahead and take any props you need. If you have a bolster, maybe you might want to come down over a bolster here in the middle. Maybe you might be on the floor like I am. But of course, this is not the objective. There is no end place to be with our yin yoga poses. And you can even come kind of all the way around the other side and see what's happening there. Okay, and another option is you may want to sort of target the gallbladder meridian, so along the outer hip and the side body, by staying a little bit more upright and taking this arm somewhere overhead. You can rest your hand kind of down the back of your head or the back of your neck. And then we can take this other arm, you might be a bit higher, kind of onto an elbow, Yep, or maybe along the floor if you're deeper. And then we play about with the position of this top elbow 
rotating our rib cage a little bit more up, a little bit more down until we find again this kind of sweet spot of the stretch along the side body there. And here we would stay for our three, four, five minutes. You can even do slightly longer times in half butterfly and kind of roll between all of these variations. So you may start kind of targeting the, the outer hip side body area. And then after a minute or two, feel what it feels like to drop down slowly and mindfully over that extended leg and shift shift the stretch so we're kind of playing with shifting the stretch mindfully around our back body and then again after another minute or two you might begin to edge slightly more to the side along the center but making sure each time you come to a new position you pause and you you really stay there for our six, seven, eight, ten breaths and, and feel into that new pose before you decide to move again. When you come out, then you might want to help that hand to draw the leg in. And it would probably be a nice idea to take a little seated meditation between sides. I like to feel the difference between the two sides and just compare energetically what's happening on the side that we've just worked on compared to the side that we're, we're yet to work on. And then of course you would take the leg out and choose where you wanted to start. So um, you may want to prop completely different. So each side of your body is not symmetrical. So please remember that when you're coming forward, what works on one side might not work on the other. So just play about with the parameters of this new side, treating it like a whole new asana. And then once you've experienced the pose on that side, again, maybe you want to take your rebound in seated, or maybe it feels good to extend your legs out and come all the way onto your backs into a mini shavasana. Okay, so that is half butterfly. Thank you for watching. Namaste.